So today we're going to talk about one of the questions, okay, the question we get more than any other question is how do we make money while we travel on the road? So really the question, what, how do we make money while we travel on the road? That's not really the best way to ask that question because how we make money on the road may not apply to you at all. <laughs> because what I enjoy, what I'm good at, or Marissa, what she enjoys, what she's good at, may not be what you've done for, maybe for 10 years you've got a certain skill set. So really I think the better question would be, what have we learned to help us make money on the road? One of the big things is just thinking outside the box. Um, I'm a nurse, so there was multiple opportunities to take my job mobile. There's travel nursing. I looked into um, like consulting on the phone as a nurse. There's tons of options out there. We opted for my position to go uh, like a as needed type position. So I only have like a minimum few days that I have to work within a time frame. Both our families live five minutes from each other so that's super convenient and of course they want to see their grandchild more yeah. than us but <laughs> i love how that happens right yeah. um and we want to visit with family and friends um also so it worked out for us that we would travel and then you know with after a couple months we would come home um visit keep relationships and then make some money like I'll work while we're home and we kind of save up that way and then we spend a couple weeks then we turn around and go back out and find a new adventure <laughs> so it's more of just like what can you do to be mobile you know whether it's web design or photography or whatever it is that you can take on the road with you and just thinking outside the box or there's work camping which are great camping opportunities to work on the road um, and get a and get a free place to stay. It's about taking the skills that you already have and figuring out a way to make those mobile. Um, I know we talked to somebody that wanted to you know do carpet cleaning on the road or do RV repairs on the road. We would much rather live on less, like making twenty five thousand dollars a year, but have a smaller commitment for time. And, and and that's kind of our thought process for how we choose to work. Uh, I was a computer technician, and I started my own business as a computer technician. I was the business. You know, I went in, did all the repairs, did everything. You know, nine to five the whole day, and you know, and I made okay money doing that. But instead of making that money, I decided to replace myself with somebody coming in and doing my job. And I phase myself as, out as more of a manager where I can manage it from the road or wherever I was at. And so I'm not making as much money, but <laughs> I'm not working as many hours either. So I'm actually making more per hour, even though it's less money overall. Did the same thing with rental properties. I had some properties. I was working on them myself, dealing with all the renters. Instead, I phased myself out. I paid a rent, you know, I paid a, a management company to take care of those properties. Same thing with consulting. I used to go physically to businesses and do things, but now, you know, I hire that out. But I'm still a consultant for what they need um, with those businesses with technology. So it's that's something to think about too. Is are there ways that I could take what I do and work less hours, but actually make more per hour by doing that? One of the pretty much game changers for us was when we eliminated any kind of debt um we because we had talked we're like do we just rent our house out or do we just sell it and go all in um and in the end we just decided that getting rid of our big like our mortgage payment and then there's taxes on top of that and just everything adds up like getting that overhead of any kind of debt off your shoulders just gives so much more freedom and flexibility and that was that was the turning point for us. So the big thing is not to go into debt for things that go down in value. Uh, when we sold our house we took the the cash from the house and we put it into an RV so everything was paid for we don't have any debt um, and that's just that's not how you have to do it but that's how it has personally worked for us. Because 
the more debt you have, the more risk you have. And there's already mm. some risk on the road. <laughs> you don't yeah. know what's going to break, what's going to go wrong. And when you've and got... And it will. Yeah, oh yeah. It it's, will. it's not if, it's, it's just when. part of it. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the more you can reduce your debt and not have these overhead of payments, um, it gives you more flexibility. And that's what it's about, is just figuring out ways to get rid of these things that can add stress. And debt can definitely add stress when something happens with your job or with the RV or a house or whatever you might have. And you can just start off by selling things that have payments and get rid of getting rid of those payments, whether it's a car, boat, or whatever it may be. But it's not just about how much money you're making on the road. It's also about how much money are you spending while you're on the road. And if you've got all these payments while you're on the road, I mean, if you get rid of a $300, $500, $600 payment, that's like making $300, $500, $600 more a month. Ultimately, what it comes down to, it's not about what we do necessarily. It's about figuring out what you can do to provide value so that people will pay you. You know, and that might be a process. You might need to, you know, you know, when you get back from work, you know, spend an hour, a day, just an hour a day working on a skill that you know you can take mobile. If you go into work for somebody as an accountant, maybe working for ways that you could go out on your own as an accountant and make that a mobile job, something you could do on the road. One thing that's pretty much for sure is this, this can take a while. I mean, it took us, it took us a year after we decided to do it to get on the road, but luckily we'd already been doing a lot of these things to become mobile for three, four, five years before that. Don't wait till things are absolutely perfect you know we weren't at the ex we're still not at the exact point of where we would love to be to be traveling but we just took the opportunity that we had and made the best of the situation yeah i, I think a lot of people view i've either got to be stuck in my current situation going to my nine to five job never getting to spend time with my family and all that or I've got to have no work, no job. I'm on the road 24 seven, living the life. Just understand there's stuff in the middle as well. And that's, mm -hmm. we're in the middle on that. The one thing that I can say for certain is it was super scary in the beginning, but nothing that we have gotten rid of, I have missed, honestly. Um, once you start living, and it was hard. It was hard getting rid of everything in the beginning. Um, very emotional at times. <laughs> I love my stuff. So it was hard to do that. But looking back and once you get these um, memories and this awesome family time, there's nothing that I regret letting go of. Oh, that was helpful. Um, us talking about what helped us learn to make money on the road. If you have any other questions or comments, let us know.